we have an abstention. Eleven in favor, one abstention. Motion passed. Now we'll move on to item number four, Treasurer's Report regarding LA 32 finances. Discussion and possible action. Approve, approval of the LA 32 NC monthly expenditure report for February 2014, March 2014, April 2014, and May 2014. Um, I'd like to note that this board was not, not seated in February, March, or April, however. Our current treasurer, Michelle Cresantes, will be covering the expenditure reports that were graciously provided to us by the previous treasurer. So, um, there might be a little bit of confusion about that. Michelle? Uh, good evening. My name is Michelle Corsantes. I am your present treasurer. Um, I don't have one for February. I do have the one for um, March. No, I don't have February. For March, the expenses were payment for the storage locker, public storage. And these are all in the back, just so you guys know in case anybody wants to follow along with what I'm reading. All of these are, are in the back, and they're stapled by a uh, month, which is uh, March that I'm about to read. And then there's April P2 and P1, okay? So I'll be doing uh, March 2014 first. I'll read it out loud, and you guys can follow through. And once again, this is what the former treasurer has reported, so we are going to read it. Uh, and after we read it, we're going to all vote. Yes, to accept. Correct. Uh, expenditures for the month of March 2014. Payment for the storage locker, public storage. Uh, 113 to 133. Reason being because it is late, they charge you late fees. And if you're on time, it is 113. Website service, which is Aaron. Zivendry. Maintenance. Monthly maintenance person, 250 a month. Department of Rec and Parks, Senior Center, to do the general board meetings here, $70. Those three are auto deductions. They are auto, de auto deducted from the uh, account. Next is the UPS Post Office, USPS, and uh, that is, the vendor was USPS. 837 and 3 cents. Once again, USPS Post Office, USPS, another 646 and 10 cents. Printing for election material, G and R printing, $600. Again, USPS Post Office, Vendor USPS, six hundred eighty-five and thirty cents. And again, printing for election material, G and R printing, five hundred. The total, three thousand five hundred eighty-eight and forty-three cents. So I will ask my fellow board members, with the quorum of how many? 12, oh, I'm sorry, how many? Board members present and vote of yes, please show hands. Before, oh, I'm sorry, before we go into the vote, I have a few questions. Are we going to do questions? Um, we can, but, but I can't because I can't justify for this. Yeah, this is this is something yes. I'm, I'm reading someone else's has done. It'd be a little bit challenging if I I could just apply for me because I did. Got it. Did you receive any um, receipts from Mr. Manzano? No, I did not. No, I did not. It's my understanding that that's on the agenda, and those will be handed over later in the week. Shouldn't that be reflected on our uh, expenditure You are right. Absolutely. But I didn't get a proper pass down. I understand. So let me ask this. Um, if I want to suspend the motion for about 10 minutes. I don't, I don't know why we need to suspend The only reason why I'm explaining why, because I think Mr. Manzano can explain to the committee and to the stakeholders if there is anything pending that he should have transitioned over. 
Um, I, I would like to know an explanation on it because I'm looking at it. I was involved in other in budget and finance, and I think there, there are some discrepancies. Well, this is what he turned in. This is his. So this that's what he turned in. I'm asking. I'm yeah. asking for a motion to suspend the rules for 10 minutes to ask Mr. Montano to present any documents needed for the month of March. And just for clarification, so we don't have anything for February, right? We still have to do March, April, and May, and that's time wise. And if you have questions, I mean, he gave this to Empower LA and he gave it to us. And my, my understanding, Empower LA then said, we will, we will read this here today and we will vote on it. So if you want to abstain yourself or not. If, if you're not comfortable for voting, you can Correct. Right. If you're not comfortable for voting, then, then you can abstain. Again, I, I would like to make a motion to suspend the rules for 10 minutes and ask him from the like former treasurer to give an explanation on some of these items that are. Dunn told me that I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. Motion. Motion. Now, I'm now, making now. a motion. There's a motion on the floor. Guys, please, when you guys are making any motions, please state your name. I don't know everybody. I'm going to go out and make a motion to suspend the rules for 10 minutes for Mr. Anthony Manzano to provide further information and clarify the fiscal uh, March 2014 expenditure reports and April. Moving Chavez seconded. Mr. Manzano, do you need some time? Should we come back to the Oh, we didn't take a roll call, whatever. Welcome, Wolfie. Jessica. No. Gamma. Yes. Isaac. I Victor. Yes. Nicholas. Ruben. Yes. Michelle. No. Raymond. No. Angela. Angela. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Let me see you. Marlene. Roxy. George. Brian. Sasha. Adam. Agustin. Cynthia. Yes. Mr. Montano, can you please take the podium? Uh, no, actually, like I said, 
I said, I need closure. I think this whole board needs closure. And that's my concern. And, and if you know what, if, if you can't answer it, then that's fine. But I think that as a, as a new board, we need to know what happened so that we don't have to do the same mistake again. But that's just my thoughts. Just the motion says to only comment on the financial report for March. I'm going to actually tell you for a moment. I know. When she says suspend the rules, that means suspend the rules. That means everything that you're talking about on the agenda, off the agenda, we still have to suspend the rules. We still have to adhere to the motion. Uh, I so appreciate that. May I the motion is to suspend um, the rules. We have 10 minutes to figure out your, your two we begin, though, report. We begin, but there's still a question. Just one I have a question for you. I have a report for March. Thank you so much. My question to you is, that were there any receipts? Because I recall that I think the former president had some homer expenses. Wasn't that supposed to be on the report as well? I think that was in March or in April. Where was that receipt? Do you have a copy of it? And why isn't that included on the um, expenditure report? I'm glad you asked that question because I have the bank statements right here and she did bring up the previous president. What the previous president did was go by ink. She claimed that it was for the neighborhood council. But according to the bylaws, the president is only allowed to give an approval up to $50. This expense was done out of her own pocket of about $160. And what she was requesting was a board member reimbursement, something that was in violation of the bylaws because she spent money without asking the board first. And if she did spend money, it should have been less than 50 bucks. But she was agitated, uh, aggressive at a meeting. You were there, and she said, you want to just sign this paperwork, turn it in. I said, you know what, but the board has a board. It was for ink, it was for the board. Just turn it in. And we did turn it in. And I was a big fault for that, because I should have never signed that document, knowing that we violated the bylaws, and I would have accused the president. But back then, I was to protect the president. Now I don't have no obligation to protect the president. And you won't find that extension on the, on the bank statements, because she spent that money out of her own pocket and it was a board member reimbursement. Now you guys know just a little bit. Okay, so the answer is because it was a board member reimbursement and those okay. don't go on the extended It was against reimbursement. the bylaws. Thank you. Uh, Are there any other questions? Question. Now, what about the bank statements? Have you given a copy to this new, to the new treasurer, a copy of the bank statements? Are you able to so we can turn in a packet complete? I, I do have bank statements available. They're right here. These are the tangible copies. I did submit digital copies. Um, oddly enough, I didn't know this when I was a treasurer, and people were saying, where's the bank statement, where's the bank statement, where's the bank statement? If we don't have no money spent in a month, the bank does not release a bank statement. So I didn't have nothing to submit. But of course, we spent zero money. So zero is a zero, whether you get a bank statement or not, it's still zero. But I wouldn't get no statements at home, because there was no money being spent. But the board was insisting, Anthony, you need to make a bank statement. So what I had to go do was go online and prepare uh, a report, I get an expense report showing zero, and I have them signed over here actually by Ms. Manvano since February. I have the one for March, I have the one for April. These are the bank statements here for April, May, excuse me, March, April, and May right here. They'll be turned over, but to answer your question, these were submitted to the previous board prior to the meeting, and they've been presented to this executive officer, the president, so this board can review these bank statements. Now, being agendized, uh, these things are, are, like I said, should have been heard in February. They think, oh, well, we haven't got a proper transition. Well, guess who's been in charge of the agenda for the last four months? Done. February was the last agenda that we prepared. So was I have an opportunity to speak in March? No. Blame done. Was I have an opportunity to speak in April? No. Blame done. Was I have an opportunity to speak in May? No. Blame done. So all of you guys are out there realizing what's going on. I have the documentation for you. I'm here to hand it over. I just need the right place to do it, and for the last three months, this is the first time I've had the right place to do it, and some of you guys are still saying, I don't want to hear what's going on. Because if you don't want to hear what's going on, then you can't base a good conclusion. A lot of you are pretty smart, but you need to have all the facts before you can give an answer. And that's what you guys need. You need all this paperwork right here before you guys can say what's going on. Are you going to endorse that over to our treasurer? Absolutely, I have the bank statements here. They've been submitted digitally. I'll hand them over. I also have the monthly reconciliation forms for the month of March, the monthly expenditure report for the month of April, the monthly expenditure report for the month of May, and all this, all this new work that the board had to do, oddly enough, I already did it. All I did was give it to them. They signed it and said, here you go. With a little bit of help, a little bit of work, and a little bit, a bit of guidance. But yes, all this work has been done since February. Can we see your I still have plenty more information to go through. If you have any other board members, I have any questions.
appreciate it, Mr. Montano, if it's possible for you to give us a copy of, of the expenditure reports that were created back in February, March, and April, so that we can review it today so we can try to uh, have these expenditures passed and submitted to them. So if you can please provide a copy of that so we can look at what was, because we had those package ready. It was an agenda from one issue, but if you can please provide that over to us, it'd be very helpful. I have read right here a resolution for the month of, of budget this for the month of February. Let it be signed for the month of March. Let it be signed. This is the this is the monthly expense report for the month of January. I guess someone was looking for it. Here's the monthly expense report for the same year, excuse me, same month, month of January, but it's signed. February? It's, uh, I have that somewhere right out. January 1st, January, signed Anthony Manzano, the Tammy Manzano. Right here, this is the bank statement for the month of January, showing no expenses, zero expenses for the month. If you don't mind, Mr. Manzano, can you provide that to the treasurer, and that way we can see it on the board? Because oh. it's, I think February, the agenda, it's on the agenda, so we can review it and um, turn it in today as we can. I'm glad you're asking these Thank questions, you. and you probably recognize some of this information. You were the one as part of the Budget Finance Committee helped put all these little sticky things and say, sign here, sign here, sign here. That's but I still have all the information I'll hand over the whole folder at this time. Thank you very much. And actually, that's later on the agenda, but if you're going to pass it over now, then is that? Two minutes. I, I can, can we conclude, Mr. Montgomery? Do you have any other questions you would or answer? I'm just here to provide the answers. Thank you, sir. Do any other board members have questions for Mr. Montgomery? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, I guess I'll make a motion to return. In this folder, you'll be receiving all the receipts of the elections. It's all in this folder. Nothing's lost. I wanted to make sure I turned them over at the right time, not out on the streets because something didn't have to be lost. And inside this folder, here it says budget and elections of receiving all the other documents as requested. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We need to work very hard on that. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have a motion to return? Say your name. Say your name. Angela Duarte, I make a motion to return to the board. Second a motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? No, please. Oh, we have one. Okay, Motion passed. Back, back. Okay, so like I was saying, these are the emails that I got, and I'm going to give the report for the month of March, uh, April part one, and April part two. I'm sorry, February two, and I'll be doing also May. These are the the documents that Anthony Monsanto emailed to. Yeah, so the ones that I just said on March, um, if you guys have them in front of you, we're going to do the vote count again. That, yeah, sure, you can look at it, because that's what he emailed to uh, the president. Yeah, if I can take a look at the copies that he provided. The entire, the entire one.
raise your hands and say hi. Hi. Si. Si. Nays? No? Abstentions? Victor? Yeah. And just those of you stakeholders that are coming for the first time so you understand what's going on, uh, we tabled it for the next one so we can understand or we can compare the discrepancy with the email to what he physically brought. Lo que vamos a hacer es, es de lo que él mandó por electrónico correo, los reportes de cada mes, queremos confirmar que lo que él mismo mandó en el electrónico correo es igual a que lo acaba de dar ahorita en persona. Y por eso decidimos todos que vamos a mover febrero, marzo y abril a la próxima junta. But I do have for May, because May was when I took office, May 7, so I will do the month of May. Um, and for future, if anyone stakeholder would like to come and see the treasurer's report. It's visible, it's transparency, every month is in here. Receipts, invoices, everything and anything that you would like to look at, it will always be available at the meetings. So you feel comfortable, you can look through it, take a picture of it. You want a photocopy, if we have a printer by then, you can take a photocopy of it. But it is there for you guys, okay? So for the month of May, um, the expenses that were made for the month of May, were obviously pending invoices by the former treasurer. And the pending invoices were, it was just given a demand warrant, so we had to seek the actual invoices, W-9s, and all the documents that were needed to turn into the debt to, for the deadline. Cuando el tesorero de la otra este, junta, de, digo, de la otra mesa directiva, no, como no los dio todas las cosas que los tenía que dar, para el mes de mayo, nomás queríamos que este, los dio un papel que decía que se tiene que pagar esta cosa. Y por eso teníamos que nosotros movernos y buscar el, el recibo, el doble nueve, o sea, todos los documentos que se tenían que entregar a la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Teníamos que hacer mucho trabajo nosotros para que salgamos de esas cosas que estaban este, pending. So we had to work a lot and with the work of all of us here that were here working, we did this. So the monthly expenditures for the month of May is... Um, LA32 flyer, LA32 postcards, LA32 uh, poster, LA32 brochure, uh, budget category, election, vendor, access print and com company, invoice number 100, total 1,600. LA32 banner and LA32 vote postcard, and those are samples in here if anybody would like to see that for the month of May, we have a sample of what the banner looks like what the postcards look like. If you guys question or want a motion into seeing that, it's right here. You can, you can pass it down to Angela if you might be asking. So you know what the poster size of the banner looks like. Um, that LA32 banner, LA32 vote poster, it falls in the category of election, access and print company, invoice number 107. Uh, we did get the W1099 and the total for that is $400. Voting venue for April 26, 2014 elections, budget category, election, Farm Dale Elementary School, uh, and that is $1,000. Purchase on a new lock and three keys for the public storage. Vendor, public storage, budget category, operations, uh, invoice number 49517945 and total $19.61. Auto deduction for storage unit D163, budget category, operations, vendor, public storage, it's an auto deduction, $113 at the first of each month. Auto deduction for LE32 web maintenance, budget category, operations, vendor, Aaron, invoice, auto deduction, total 250. Auto deduction, El Sereno Senior Center, monthly venue, budget category, operations, vendor, El Sereno Senior Center, auto deduction, total $70. So the total is $2,452.61. So board members, uh, I do ask, we do need to uh, vote for this. And as you guys can see, the reports are there. Maybe you want to look at the receipts? We got all here. I'd like to make a, a note. It appears as if May 2014, the expenditure report was not printed in the back. 
We, we do not have it all. It, it seems that I'm looking back there that two sets of copies were made in April Part 2, and inadvertently someone did not print the May 2014. Now, online, it, it, it should be online. Yes, it shows May 2014. I believe it was probably an error of whoever made the copy. Oh, the number did the, the, the printing <coughs> that they did not print a copy of the May 2014. Madam President, I have a point of interest. The treasurer of mansion in Spanish. W-9 form. I don't think the stakeholders really have no reason to know what that is. W-9 form is required by the federal government for all businesses doing business anywhere, especially doing business with a city, any city in Los Angeles. Okay, they have to submit that <coughs> with the uh, invoices that they're um, presenting for whatever the finance committee had approved to be purchased uh, by them. La señora tesorera mencionó la W9 reforma, que es requerida para el gobierno federal, excepto para de parte de las empresas haciendo negocio con la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Es, es un requisito que no se puede evitar. Gracias. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. So, uh, could we share, are we, are we entertaining a motion, or are we just saying? I would, I would like, I'm sorry. I'd like to make a motion to also to table the approval of May 2014 until also until the next meeting. So we can actually have a physical copy of the extension. Does anybody want to have a No. <laughs> Can I make a comment before we place the vote? Is it on this item? Yes. Just a couple of It's open for discussion, right? Can I see the five items? On Farmdale Elementary, I'm assuming that if you're supposed to say 1,000, it says one, it, it, it says typos, I'm sure. You're correct. I will correct that. You're right. Thank you. Thank and you then a couple of uh, Ms. Bell checks on storage and poster. Thank you. Okay. We'll uh, thank you. Okay, ma'am. Is there any other discussion on this item? Do we have a second? Oh, sorry.
Motion passes. Uh, I'll add it to zero. Yes. Three abstentions. Eleven zero three. Thank you. Item number five, discussion and possible action regarding the appointment and ratification of standing committee members for the LA 32 standing committee. Um, listed on page 12, article 7, committee member duties, section 1, 8 direct of the LA 32 bylaws. Uh, when appointing and ratifying committee members, the board will follow the process outlined in the LA 32 bylaws, article 7, committee member duties. And so for this meeting, we'll be appointing five committees, Budget and Finance, Land Use, Education, Business and Economics, and Outreach. And I'd like to ask that any stakeholders, maybe, maybe some of you are not aware that stakeholders can be on the committees, and we encourage stakeholders to, to want to join the committees, and to please join the committees. So if there's any stakeholders present who are interested in any of these five committees, I invite you to please come forward and state your interests. And your reason for um, your, your reason why you, you feel you'd be an asset to this committee. Anyone? And please state your name prior to talking. Thank you.